Tyler Rowland here. Welcome to Rowland Sports, where you meet the athletes. We're over at Boyd County High School. I'm with Trey Holbrook and Josh Thornton of the Boyd County Lions football team. And they're looking to have an exciting season. They return a heck of a lot from last year. And Josh, we'll start talking with you about the, these events. Talk about these seven-on-sevens and just the importance they are to you and to the development of the program. Uh, I think they really help our offense passing the ball a lot because we didn't really do too much of that the past couple of years. And now we finally have the opportunity to be able to do that a lot. So I think it really helped us with that. And uh, that's about it, I think. Mm -hmm. and, and what are, as an individual, what are some of your goals for the, the year starting out? Oh, win it all, of course. I mean, it's the last year. Go as far as you can. Mm -hmm. You may never have a chance to play again. So you got to go all out, try and win every game you can. Give it your all. I mean, it's all you can do. Yes, and Trey, you've played. You've played a lot of different positions and have succeeded there. Talk about this year, just what you're feeling with the team from practice and and the vibe that you're getting. Sure, looks like you guys have a lot of energy out there. Yeah, you know, we've got so much energy. We have so many different players out there. Um, so many different players that can go to each position, different backups that all compete on the same level, and I think that really helps us as far as keeping everybody fresh. Mm -hmm. And Trey, talk about as a player the your playing the way you play in this year to to impact the the program. Uh, I'm ready to be wherever coach needs me to be. Um, I think the positions that I've been in have impacted. I'm hoping to keep doing that. I know my players are there for me. I know we've got uh, our line coming in is really going to help out. But. I think we're ready to pass the ball this year. Josh, talk about the talk about the offensive line this year and their their develop what, de what de development. What do you see in them compared to compared to last year? Uh, they've improved a lot. Uh, main thing was a mentality issue, and uh, I think they're getting over that. They're pretty much over that. Uh, they're working harder than I've ever seen them work, and I think they're ready. Mm -hmm. That's uh, they're working hard. I think they'll they'll help us a lot. Mm -hmm. And talk about the community of Boyd County, especially right now. You're seeing a, really across the board it, just a lot of the success, including the football program, and especially in recent years, bouncing back and the new facilities. Talk about the community. Uh, the community is getting a lot better. Uh, past couple years, I mean, we didn't have a winning percentage. I mean, we, we just didn't play that good. We didn't play to what our potential was. And now I think we're, we're going to have a pretty good year. And I think everyone's starting to finally realize that. And uh, I think our community is starting to come around again. Yes, and, and, and Trey, what, what is it that you like about being a, being a Boyd County Lion? Uh, we've got the best facility around, there's no question. Um, new school, it's, uh, I don't know, I don't know what else you could want. I mean, we've got the players, we've got the community coming in. Uh, we're just ready for season to come in. Yes, and and talk about the the team the team this year. Talk about your schedule. I know you guys look to you're really looking to play a challenging schedule this year. Um, yeah, we've got South Point and Ashland up first. Uh, looking forward to that Ashland game. Mm -hmm. uh, it's gonna be an away game, so we really got to lock in. Mm -hmm. But sad to see. Ashland leave early, but we won't be able to play them today. Yeah, always a fun game to watch between the two schools. Um, and Josh, talk about your, um, for the fan base to get to know you a little better, what are some of your hobbies? Uh, I like to lift weights a little bit. Uh, if you all seen me last year, I was a little bit heavier, a little heavier set. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, lifting weights is more like, uh, it's an everyday thing, just about something I love to do. I'm, that's about it, really. That, mm -hmm. play games, just whatever comes to mind. You know, yeah. nothing really specific. Mm -hmm. Just do whatever. And are there any, lastly, are there any shout-outs you'd like to give? Oh, uh, shout out to my mom and dad, and my mom and papa, of course. Love them. Awesome. And Trey, um, about with you, what are some of your your hobbies? <laughs> uh, I'm hunting and fishing a lot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I say you can see I'm not into lifting as much as Josh, but uh, mm -hmm. stay in there as much as I can and yeah. uh, do what I can to help out. Mm -hmm. Any shout-outs you'd like to give? Family, my little brother at quarterback. Yeah. 
<laughs> nice, yeah. Hey, let's bring him on. Let's bring, yeah. Why not? Here, step in here, Ray. You got, you got some shout outs you want to give? Uh, <laughs> my memo on Papa and my coach and my wide receivers. Also, my line, because they're going to be ones blocking for me this year. I got to thank them a lot. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys for being on, and be sure to stay tuned this year. You're watching Rowan Sports, where you meet the athletes.